The same God who wants us to pray and believe that we have received. The same God also wants us to be patient. There are different churches in the world right now, and many of them are called by names that suggest instant miracles. There is this prophet where people call now, 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 now. That means now, instantly, you get what you want. Some today, today. That means today you will get what you want. So a lot of believers no longer care if what transpired that brings about the miracle, whatsoever transpires, is none of their business, even if it is the, even even if it is demonically inspired. So you see a lot of magic everywhere because people are inching for instant miracles. Today, some couples who get married no longer want to wait for children. They want to have the children now. And there are women who go outside, get themselves pregnant, throw another man, and then come inside. As a matter of fact, there are men who will agree with their wives that, okay, since I'm the problem, since I can't get you pregnant, you go outside, let's make arrangement for you. Let's look for a man that can impregnate you so that you can, we can raise children for ourselves. That's shameful. Many people are no longer patient to wait for God. Recently, I was talking to a young man who had a handwork, a plumber. I was talking to him that it is, he said he wants to abandon his trade, the plumbing work, and go and become a motorcyclist. And I tried to convince him that you can't do that. Just try and grow, set up a company. Let me assist you. Set up a company. I will assist you. Print some complimentary cards. Go to different offices, companies, hospitals, schools, churches, and drop your complimentary cards with them. You need some level of patience. He said, no, no, uh, there's no job. There's no, people no longer want to be patient. And the amount of mess, the level of messages we hear today with the level of lies with which they are mixed. Many Christians no longer believe in patience. Now look at Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Please listen attentively. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, long-suffering, goodness, gentleness, goodness, faith, Meekness, temperance, against such, there is no law. Long-suffering, patience. Patience is very, very important. If you are a believer and you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you, one fruit that you must produce is patience. Long-suffering. It is very, very important.